Star Wars was released Wednesday, May 25th, 1977, which means 2017 this year, this May, is the 40th anniversary. Hasbro has taken advantage of this unique milestone to revisit one of their worst 6-inch Black Series attempts. Does it stand up to the reigning champ? Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is Metacom Mafex Darth Vader vs. Hasbro 40th Anniversary Black Series Darth Vader. Both figures feature crisp, sharp details and a mix of matte and gloss finish paints and plastics to give their respective Vaders that two-toned look. Shiny boots, matte flight suit, shiny eye lenses, matte giant diaper crotch. Closer inspection reveals more actual detail in sculpted textures like the fabric of his flight suit and the leather of his boots on the Black Series figure. Metacom is a thin, athletic Vader, and while his slimmer build allows for more range of movement, it also has a tendency to make him look and feel a bit frail, even if those proportions are technically accurate. Hasbro's 40th anniversary Black Series Vader is a heftier, bulkier figure, but not to an exaggerated degree. His helmet is much larger than the Metacom or even Hasbro's first attempt from back in 2014. They both have a full complement of buttons and ribbing, but Hasbro's hyper details take round one. Metacom likes wired capes and Vader's is no exception. There's a very thin wire sewn into the fringe of the cape to give it some posability, whether it's to force it to have the appearance of being a heavier fabric by draping properly over his shoulder pads, or a more dramatic windblown look as he reveals his true identity to Luke on Bespin. Metacom paired the wired cape with rubbery Under Armour robes and skirt to really sell the feeling of weight to those fabrics, but it does limit his posability to a degree. No sitting in the meditation chamber for this Darth Vader. Hasbro went with full fabric cape and under robes. Unlike the previous Black Series figures, this cape is neither hemmed on the edges nor weighted with corner patches. It no longer attaches to the armor and the giant silver metal chain is gone. Time will tell if the full complement of cloth goods holds up as well as the 50% rubber approach from Metacom, or if the cape wire can take repeated reposing. For now, the freedom of movement allowed by the cloth under robes gives round two to Black Series. Metacom Vader can bend in places that Hasbro just cannot. Double jointed elbows to Black Series single, a toe hinge, wrists that can pivot in any direction, and rubbery armor plates that allow his crunch a bit more crunch room, and a longer neck and smaller helmet means it's easier to look up and down. Four years into the Black Series line and Hasbro still insists on reserving double jointed elbows for regular stormtroopers or characters whose elbows are concealed by cloth goods like Yoda, the Emperor, or farm boy Luke. Strictly by the numbers, Metacom easily wins round three. Metacom Vader unloads the treasure chest with an irresistible quantity of fantastic accessories that add expression and character to this figure. He's got his lightsaber with removable blade that can easily attach to his belt, a two-piece helmeted head with a removable hood section to create the first part of the Anakin unmasking, as well as a separate Anakin head that can be plugged into the lower section of the helmet for the fully unmasked redemption version of Vader. Oh, and five sets of interchangeable hands, punching, holding, pointing, force push open hands, and a more relaxed open hand. And one more bonus hand attachment that connects to the wrist for a full cut-off hand look, completing the redeemed end of Return of the Jedi appearance. Hasbro's Black Series gives you a lightsaber with removable blade and a display stand. Technically, the Hasbro Saber is more detailed, more screen accurate hilt, but no one is going to say they would prefer a display stand over five and a half handsets and alternate heads. <laughs> Round four is an easy win for Metacom. As of this video, May the 4th, 2017, Metacom has just released an Episode 3 version of Darth Vader and 40th Anniversary Black Series Vader is trickling out onto store shelves. With a third Metacom Vader based on Rogue One due out later this year, the price for this Metacom Vader is going down fast and there are more previously owned pieces hitting the secondary market. You can buy one new with free shipping on Amazon for $28, perfect timing to pick up a great figure. 40th Anniversary Black Series Vader isn't quite out on store shelves in full capacity and is, is unconfirmed if Hasbro is actually going to release it carded without the stand later in the year. $40 might be a stretch, especially if you already have a Vader figure that you are happy with. Metacom packs so much more stuff into the box for a ridiculous $28 price. Hands and heads beat a display stand every day, all day. Round 5 goes to Metacom. Look, I was blown away by how much Hasbro improved on the previous attempts to get a 6-inch Darth Vader figure out to the market. 
It is one of the best Vader figures ever produced, and certainly the best Vader figure Hasbro has ever produced. But for all the accessories and articulation, when you break it down to the numbers and versatility, when it comes to setting up your action figure photography, you cannot beat the Metacom Vader figure, especially at the $28 price. Metacom Mafex Darth Vader retains his place as top Sith Lord for now. Thanks for watching. Please hit like, hit subscribe, share this video. Please take a moment and check out our Patreon and let us know in the comments below which Vader works for you. Are you going to keep one for display and use the other in your photos? I thought this was going to be Black Series all the way, but I may have been suffering from a bit of new toy fever. Aesthetic preferences are one thing, but I cannot deny the results of the scoreboard. It's those extra hands every time. It's this. <laughs> God.